and just really line like this. So I'm trying to imitate what my tape roll looks like when you're using imperial. So I did a long line that is zero and the short one that's the middle between zero and one and then another long one that's one inch and then a short line and then two inches. Now the part that confuses people is what happens between zero and this one or between this one and one. That's really the problem that a lot of people have. So now between zero and one we have eight boxes because it's divided by eight. Now that means that if we have eight boxes and this is half of zero to one or this is half of zero to one that means from zero to here we're going to have four boxes now this place is known as 0 0.5 inch or half inch if you prefer the decimal or you prefer the fraction whichever one works for you but in between here we have four boxes and that's what we need to fill right now so we need to go one two three and four so i'm going to put three ticks in here to complete the four one two and three so these lines are usually not as long as the mid one, the midpoint so it's short as well three so if I count I'll now have to count one two three four I'll do it again for the other side one box two box uh, three box so I'll then extend the length they're not as long as this mid box so I'll extend like this like this and like this i can do it all over again here just so that you understand it perfectly well so i have my mid box and i need to put three boxes to make it to make everything for so i pull one two and three and then i extend it slightly they are not as long as this one here I'll do the same thing for the other side that takes it to three. One, two, and three. So extend, extend, and extend. Now, four on this side, four on this side. Eight boxes make one inch. Eight boxes make one inch the whole number in inches is over eight i don't know how to explain it you know normally normally when we're talking about fractions in mathematics is usually over 10. for me to say two it has to be for me to get two it has to be 20 divided by 10. for me to get anything is usually over 10 but when it comes to um, measuring tape inches in parallel method it's over 8 and this is this explains it now let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so it's usually over 8 now that means that everything has its representative because if I was doing 0 0.1, if I was doing 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, that means 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 3 over 10, you know, and, and goes on like that till it gets to 0 0.9, that's 9 over 10, and then one which is now 10 over 10 now for fractions in 
inches is the same thing so I'm going to start from the very first one and I'll name it 1 over 8 yeah I'll go to the next one the next one will be 2 over 8 that means the third one will be sorry I moved okay 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 let me start all over again sorry I started from 0 I was supposed to start from here so this first this is now the first one because you need to count from 0 to 1 so that's 1 over 8 and then the second one is after 1 2 2 over 8 and then the third one is 3 over 8 and then the fourth one is 4 over 8 so you notice that the fourth one is the is the midpoint we've gotten to the center and if you just press your calculator for me and divide 4 over 8 you're going to get 0 0.5 so that's how we came about half inch being 0 0.5 but let's continue so we have done up to 4 now and it's still we don't have our whole number so we have to keep going up to Eight. So the next one will now be number 5, that's 5 over 8, and then after that we have 6 over 8, and then 7 over 8, and then lastly 8 over 8. Now, I want you to just understand this concept, it will make your sewing very, very interesting and less stressful you won't have to be um, worried about the the decimals you're getting or the fractions you're getting because you will understand exactly what it means on your tape now let's say I get let's say my waist measurement is 31 and I need to divide it by 4 and then when I divide by 4 I get um, Oh no, I can't figure that out right now. Okay, seven point. Okay, I'll come back to it. So, look at this very well and understand it. I'm going to try and do it again over here just so that uh, you understand it again. So, this now is my old number one. So, anything after here is now going to be one and a half one three quarter one three eight or something it's going to be the whole number comes first before the fractions so i'll do this again just so that we repeat it and then the last thing we're now going to do is we're going to break all of these fractions down so you know exactly which one is what so from one i count one so that's now one over eight and then two over eight three over eight four over eight that's the midpoint you see it's longer five over eight six over eight seven over eight and the last one eight over eight so if we do 8 over 8 to give us 1, so 1 plus 1 will make 2. That's just all you need to know about tape reading. Now, the final thing you need to know is when you do your calculations on your phone or on your on, on, on anywhere you do it, it doesn't actually give you fractions. It gives you decimals. So you need to know what these fractions mean in decimal. And we're going to do this together. So now I've gotten my paper, my cardboard, and I want to start doing my my divisions. And I'm going to send this to the link. So one over eight is equal to zero point one two five. So whenever I see something like four point one two five, I only know that I'll go to four inches, and then after four inches, I'll count the first step because that is. 0 0.18 0 0.125 I mean so I'll go to 4 after 4 I'll then move 
to the next, the first one, because I know in my head that 0 0.18 is 1 over 8. 0 0.25 is 1 over 8, so I'll just come here and count 1. I know that that's where my measurement is supposed to be. When I have 2 over 8, it gets interesting because I'll divide it by 2. This will give me, I'll divide it by, yes, 2 to give me 4. And divide this by 2 to give me 1. So that's even one quarter. That's that's a common one. So it's 0 0.25. The next one is 3 over 8. And that should give us 0 0.375. I'll check to be sure. But yes, that's it. Yeah, Because even if you add this and this together, that's what it'll give you. So the next one is 4 over 8. Which by the time I divide by 4, it will give me 2 here and 1 here. So I have my half inch, which is also 0 0.5 inch. I'm going to send, I'm going to give you a, this in a downloadable link, and you would also do yours as an assignment. Actually, you would do yours as an assignment and send it to me. And once we have trashed tape measurements, we'll just go on with our works because it then gets easier. 0 0.625 yep and 6 over 8 which is a quarter because this divided by 2 will give us 3 and this divided by 2 will give us 4 and that's 0 0.75 7 over 8 is 0 0.875 and then 8 over 8 is one. Here goes your first assignment. You need to do your own tip reading calculation. And send to me. See you in the next class. In the next class, we're going to be talking about measurements. Measurements. See you soon.